Remember Dave 1995 Alt's encounter with a lost THX text trailer on a hit entertainment DVD box set? No? Well, that makes two of us. Good job, bro. We're together. Well, I'm here to tell you about a lost internship recreation DVD. Since I encountered the lost internship recreation of Wormy from SpongeBob. You'll know your SpongeBob? Well, you'll know anything. Even though I grew up with Thomas and Friends and the Wiggles, there is also a show called Pingu. So, believe it or not, there are actually at least three television shows in the world. If you don't know what Pingu is, Pingu is a charming and cheeky young penguin who lives in the snow and ice of the South Pole, opposite of where Santa Claus lives. The mischievous penguin often finds himself in tricky and comical situations like sticking a pencil up his bum, but he always learns a valuable lesson. Like that time his mom spanked him, he learned a lesson about child abuse. One of the episodes that I actually liked was an episode called Pingu Gets Carried Away. It's when Pingu wants to drive the tractor sledge by himself, but ends up getting into a runaway. It's not, it's not, that's not what I meant about the show. It's about a lost internship recreation of said episode. I tell you what, it was a perfect afternoon in the lazy suburb of Redacted. I was at Walmart with my mama and little brother to buy some things. Chef Boyardee. Walked through the DVD aisle and found many DVDs. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Typical American middle class luxuries. I collected some goodies like SpongeBob SquarePants, Blue's Clues, and Shark Tale featuring that guy who smacked Chris Rock in the face. After I did all that, I actually found a rare Pingu DVD in the shape of a CD case. A CD case for a DVD? What a shitload of fuck. The cover consisted of Pingu about to run into the store manager as seen in the episode, while the Pingu logo was there and there's text on the right that said, Lost Internship Recreation for Pingu Gets Carried Away. Why the hell did it say that if it was for sale at a Walmart? Whatever. The DVD's release date was November 9th, 2009. What a coincidence. That's my cat's birthday. I do remember encountering the lost internship recreation of the Wormy episode of Spongebob, so this was my second lost internship recreation DVD. Perhaps I was under some sort of tormentious curse from Satan. Well, that's what I get for not going to church last Sunday. Looks good, I said, disheveled. I then took the DVD to my room and showed it to my mom. She was impressed that I found something rare, if uh, you know what I mean. I don't even know what the hell I mean. After we got our things, we went to check out, and I gave the DVD to the cash register guy. That will be five dollars, please, said the cash register guy. He sounded kind of a lot like the college guy from The Simpsons. After I paid for the DVD, we drove home. And when I got home, I was informed by my mum and little bro that they will be going to some places, undisclosed, redacted, that they'd be back home soon. So I took the DVD out, put in my DVD player, got a little randy, and got ready to watch it. The DVD started with the hit entertainment logo and played a preview for the Wiggles movie. Yes, sorry, I just love the Wiggles. And that took me to the menu. The menu consisted of Pingu standing at the trademark South Pole background. On top was the Pingu logo, and on the right were... Th no, four. Four. I was going to say three, but there were actually four menu buttons, which were Play, Visit Hit Entertainment, Set Up, and Bonus Features for Bitches. I was curious about the cussing, but I clicked Play, getting ready to watch it. Before the episode began, there was a warning. Warning! This episode was made way back in 2009, probably before you were born, you little shit, for the release of Jennifer's Body, based on the classic Hole song. It must not be viewed by children. Watch at your own risk, you little bitch. Oh, great, here it comes, I said, face palming. An episode started off normally with the intro, and then it cut to the beginning where Pingu was teached teached, uh, that's, that's how I say taught, go F yourself, by his dad to drive the tractor sledge. Everything was normal until it got to the part where they became a runaway when Pingu pressed the lever down all the way. While Pingu's dad tells Pingu to stop the tractor sledge or little green elves are going to come out of his ears, he breaks the brake and he throws it away. At that moment, they ran over a speed bump and Pingu's dad falls off the back. He gets back up and tells Pingu to take care 
and cuts to Pongo walking while listening to music on his earbuds. In which I was surprised that Pongo had earbuds as he jams out. My middle-aged dad told me to say that. It sounds cool. Here the tractor sledges horn and sees Pingu driving toward him at high speed. Pingu blows the horn and tells Pongo to move out of the way, but it did nothing. Pingu runs over Pongo and he exploded into blood and pieces of delicious penguin flesh. But the blood wasn't done in clay. It was real. Trust me. Trust me. I'm a doctor. Pingu tried everything he could to stop the tractor sledge, but it turns out there was no use. Oh, well, who gives a shit? They drive down to a market stall and a cut to the lady penguin getting the things like in the episode... Once Madger turns around, he sees Pingu driving toward him. Madger runs out of the way while Pingu crashes through the stall instead of running into it like in the episode. Madger tries to run away, but Pingu's tractor sled started to chase him around in circles and circles and circles. The Madger ends up coming to a dead end, and Pingu doesn't stop. Once Pingu was about to run into him, the tractor sled started to jerk forward, frightening the manager. It stopped the tractor sled reversed, and Pingu screamed as he was going backwards. Madger sighed in relief because he was safe and didn't give a fuck about anyone else but himself. Later, it cut back to Pingu trying to stop the tractor sled. Trying. He soon noticed that he was driving right into a cold sinkhole. Pingu tried his best to stop the tractor sled, but it was too late. As Pingu got close to the sinkhole, the tractor sled fell in, taking Pingu along with it to frozen hell. Because the sinkhole was very cold, it froze Pingu into a huge chunk of ice, which is similar to the Pingu Takes Revenge episode. If you know your Pingu, you bitch. Some penguins, along with Pingu's grandfather, was at the scene. They later fished the frozen Pingu out of the sinkhole, along with the tractor sledge. They thought it was going to be a funeral. Even traditional Pingu cast members like Dale and John Redcorn were there. The penguins and Pingu's grandfather were in shock at what they saw. It cut to the hospital scene in the sore tummy Pingu episode, where the doctor checked on the frozen Pingu. The doctor tells Pingu's grandfather that he had died from being frozen so much. Ah, they need a funeral after all. Pingu's grandfather was in shock, and he started to break down in tears. His crying sounded realistic, as if his actor was upset, but of course he was the actor, and he was supposed to actually, you know, pretend to cry, so that just means good acting. There's nothing really scary about that. I mean, shit. It later fades to Pingu's house, where Pingu's mum, dad, and Pinga were horrified about what they heard about Pingu, and they started breaking down to tears. Their cries sounded rather realistic, as if the actors were depressed, because it's their job to act. I mean, shit. I mean, how many times do I need to say this? Whatever. During the scene, an instrumental of When She Loved Me from Toy Story 2 played in the background. I was surprised that a Toy Story 2 song was in this scene. Shoot for the fucking you! And then later cuts to Pingu's dad watching his tractor sledge getting scrapped after the incident. Pingu's dad was sad after seeing his tractor sledge being scrapped because he cared more about it than he did Pingu, and I'm cool with that. After that, it cuts to Pingu's house at night as seeing the Pingu and the Ghost episode. What was this? Fucking, uh, you know, you know, like those flashback episodes that they make when they don't have any money to make a real episode? Pingu's mom, Pingu's dad, and Pingu were sad that Pingu died in the incident. Oh, finally they care. I mean, they pretended to care with the realistic tears. Pingu's dad calmed Pinga down and they went to sleep disheveled. <coughs> after that, it cut to the credits as they play normally. But after the hit entertainment logo, it wasn't over until it showed one last horrifying thing. Oh boy, it was an edited image of Pingu screaming when he was about to drive into the snowman from the original version of Pingu Gets Carried Away. However, his eyes were black, his pupils were red, he was crying blood. And I forgot that I had pizza in the oven. Whatever, I'll just like continue telling you about the, the stuff first. Maybe they should put some penguin on some pizza. It was accompanied by the death scream from Mortal Kombat. Woody scream at the end of the deleted Toy Story teats, I mean treats, and a woman screaming in a very loud audio that was so loud I was surprised I could hear it and not just dogs. After that, it took me back to the menu. I should have clicked the bonus features for the little bis bi biscuit bi bitches. Flint Biscuit played Atlantic City, and I missed it, and I'm really sad about that. You know, I was completely nervous after watching that terrifying episode. In fact, when my mom and little bro came home, I told them what I saw on the DVD, and they were also appalled. 
I had to grab a few screenshots before my mom smashed the DVD with the actual sledgehammer the irate gamer uses in his videos to smash up old Nintendo games. Next day, I contacted Hit Entertainment about the DVD, and they told me about the one who made it. It was someone named Clenny Brown. It was the same guy who made the lost SpongeBob episode, SpongeBob Can't Take It, which is what my bro Giovanni saw last year. I just said thank you to all that. I'm a good guy. You know, if you ever encounter a lost internship recreation DVD, don't watch it or your childhood will be ruined. George Jetson.